Hello, YouTubers Reloading Bench, back with you once again. And this short video is, uh, I'll call it a response video, because I've gotten a number of questions. I've done more than a handful of um, magnifier, EOTech-specific uh, magnifier, with uh, my first failure of the G45, then waiting almost another year, and finally getting uh, a G45 that works. And then... Um, getting the uh obviously as a comparison to the g33s so having the g45 and then picking up and doing a quick review overview i guess of the new uh g43 so the g33s i don't want to use the term replacement complement because the g33 is still uh, available and some of the questions coming in are which one is better for me a g43 or a g33 and when I was shopping, the G43 was more expensive than G the G33. But <clears throat> the trade-off you're getting is you're getting a smaller form factor than the G33. So when people are asking uh, which is the better or which one should I go for if I had, you know, an option and they were the same price, uh, some people might immediately say, oh, you get the G43 because it's smaller and better and newer than the G33, which is older and if I can get in frame here, which is older, uh, longer, and, uh, you know, slightly different design. But then the answer is not quite as, uh, as easy as that because this is my setup, and this is my usual setup for running uh, an EOTech, is I have my EOTech uh, magnifier essentially um, butt up as far back as it can go, due to my backup site so there i can't move this site any farther back so and i'm fine with this 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 i i this is perfection to me in terms of a 3x magnifier and uh, a holographic so i've got the best of all worlds in my opinion for me for my needs i've got my backup site i've got my magnifier and i've got my holographic site all in the tightest footprint possible based on what occupies space so when I picked up the G43, so no magnification change on the 33 other than a size difference, a considerable size difference. So what you may notice right off the bat, once I pop these, and we'll see if uh, um, this, I don't remember if this was sized for this or not. So here is going to be, and doing this one-handed is always a challenge. No, I think this was sized for a... a different Picatinny. Let me see if I'm just imagining things, and I will make it magically work. Nope, too tight. I was afraid I was going to have to bust out some tools, so let me Okay, no, I was right. Oh, that's tight. All right, so I'm not going to tighten this down because it wasn't for this particular setup But I think you'll understand Where I'm going with this So this is as far back as I can get in fact I'm going to say when I pop this EOTech up, uh, again, let's pretend it's actually mounted because that's a really tight fit and I don't want to adjust anything. That's as close to this mount. In fact, uh, I tried to move it back and this riser hits this particular backup site. So when I say, when people say, which one should I get, a G33 or a G43? My answer is it depends on your configuration, because if you're not running a backup site, you can have the eye relief and where this particular smaller form factor G43 magnifier sits, you could move this up considerably. You know, you can move it all the way uh, technically up here, and then your eye relief would be the equivalent of what the older G33 gives me in terms of right near my charging handle. Whereas on the G43, my eye relief is probably about, you know, two inches forward. 
and there's nothing I can do about that in this configuration. I can look for potentially, you know, maybe a micro uh, backup site that has a smaller uh, form factor or footprint or design so that allows me to move the G43 closer to the back of my uh, rifle in line with my charging handle or what I'm more accustomed to on the G33. So um, this is something, you know, folks probably aren't considering. They're thinking, as I did, oh, let me just get the new G43. It's smaller, better, newer. And now you have to deal with uh, potentially a different uh, positioning due to eye relief. So uh, I, I do like having my 3X magnifier and, and the associated eye relief uh, about where this is. That's what I'm used to over the years. So I will probably look for a smaller backup site micro backup site for wherever I'm going to put this particular G43. But uh, for those who are wondering which one to get, it depends. You know, what's your configuration? What are you running? How do you have things set up? How far back? How far up? What's your comfort? What's your, you know, preferred eye relief? And uh, this introduces some changes that you may not be, uh, may not be ready for. So uh, more of a heads up than anything. It's a smaller form factor and that introduces um, change to potentially configuration so I, I would say this is you know this is drop a drop-in solution in the sense that from a picatinny and an xps fit but it's not necessarily a drop-in solution for your current configuration based on what you're running for backup site and uh, what you uh, prefer for your eye relief so uh, things to consider uh, Different, cool, works fine, but uh, may not fit your exact situation. So, food for thought.